come back to get the gloss. All my friends are always hounding me, asking me what's in my makeup bag, what mascara I use, what foundation I use. So today I just thought I would spill the contents of my makeup bag. Um, I'm not saying that what I use is gonna suit everybody, but at least it will get my friends off my back. Okay, so the first product I love um, is Garnier's BB Cream Miracle Skin Perfector. Now, if you don't know what a BB cream is, then you need to know. BB cream stands for blemish balm, and they originated in Asia, and by blemishes they mean pigmentation rather than spots. So originally, BB creams were for evening out your skin tone. However, they have now come over to the Western world and everyone is addicted to them because they create a flawless looking finish with your skin without it looking overly made up. I would say they're somewhere between a tinted moisturiser and a foundation. They've got more coverage than a tinted moisturiser. I love this one. It's inexpensive and it's available in boots. Next product I really can't do without is a bronzer. My favourite one at the moment is Dior Skin in Nude Tan. Uh, I love it because, I'll just show you, it, it doesn't have too much shimmer. Uh, so it doesn't make me look really shiny, but it gives a hint of sun-kissed colour. So that's a favourite. Uh, next in my makeup bag, I can't do without every day, has to be a blusher. My favourite all-time blusher, and just to prove that it is my favourite all-time because it is absolutely knackered, is this Beach Tint by Becca. You can't even see the name on it anymore. And it gives that natural looking glow as if you've run around a block or um, been out in the wind. And it's really easy to apply, literally with your fingers, takes two seconds. Uh, that's one of my favourites. Another favourite is Bobbi Brown, and this colour is in Powder Pink. I find this colour actually suits a lot of people, and a lot of makeup artists have this in their makeup kit. So that's great. My next product I literally cannot do without, and I think this is probably one of the best mascaras I've ever used, is Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume Mascara. I'll tell you why I love it, because it really has a fantastic brush. It's got one of those sort of plastic brushes rather than the sort of old fashioned spiky ones, and it really doesn't clog your lashes. It goes on, and sometimes people ask me if I'm wearing lash extensions, and I really am not. But it goes on, no clogging. It really makes your lashes look long. It lasts ages as well, doesn't run out well, really quickly. And I think it makes your lashes look longer, thicker, more defined. And it makes a drastic sort of difference to my eyes because I need mascara otherwise I look like a bit of a boiled egg as my husband calls me it makes a drastic difference quite quickly and I need anything that makes me look better fast so that's a favourite my next favourite is Blink Eyebrow Gel I really think that grooming your eyebrows can make all the difference to your face it sort of brings it all into focus and this is called Blink Eyebrow Gel, and it's in Cinnamon Spice. I believe it comes in different colours for different skin tones and different hair types. But I use it. It just grooms my brows, keeps them in place all day. It's very quick as well. I always use a bit of eyeshadow. Some of my favourites that I've discovered recently are these creaseless cream shadows from Benefit. They landed on my desk and my makeup bag hasn't been without them since. This one is called No Pressure Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow. And again, I'm, up, I'm always up for anything that you can apply really, really quickly with your fingers. So that one's very easy. And again, 
really quickly. Just adds a bit of a hint of sort of natural definition for every day. For covering spots, I would never be without my concealer. One of my favourites, and it is quite expensive, I think it's about £35, is Total Concealer by Chantecaille. I think Chantecaille do some of the best skin products, such as foundations and concealers. And I use this sort of under my eyes, on spots, spot on my cheek, blemishes, uh, anywhere I need it really. I also couldn't do without some sort of coloured balm for my lips. There are lots and lots of different balms on the market at the moment. One of my favourites and probably one of the most popular on the market are these chubby sticks from Clinique. They've become incredibly popular because they add just a hint of colour. I'll show you on here. Really just a hint because they're very sheer even though that looks very pink. It just enhances your natural lip colour. But also what is magic about these, you can twist them up. So you don't need a sharpener that you can never find. So I'll just apply that. Uh, it really is very subtle. So those are my favourite products. I think there's seven of them. And <laughs> this, it's my friend Maisie who's just walked in. <laughs> Maisie, have a look. <laughs>